I would like to share with you our findings on how plasma biomarkers and genetics can predict Alzheimer's disease. Two key features of AT pathology, myeloid plaque deposition and uh, tau tangle neuropathy can indirectly be assessed in living individuals using biomarkers. Uh, we used for this study Alzheimer's disease cardiac cohort which uh, has been collected between 2004 and 2020 under the supervision of Professor Julie Williams. Uh, plasma biomarker levels were measured with single molecule uh, analysis in Professor Zetterberg lab at UCL, and the study was funded by the Dementia Research Institute. So uh, what did we do in this study? We measured five biomarkers, AB40, AB42, TFAP, NFL and PTAO reflecting different aspects of uh, AD pathology. And we looked at the prediction uh, of AD, Alzheimer's disease status in our sample using these biomarkers and genetics. So what was striking to me, uh, we observed that biomarker values levels depend on age in cases and in control. So x-axis in each of these graphs represent age, and y-axis represent the uh, level of the biomarker. So dark line would correspond to cases, and lighter line would correspond to controls. Uh, as you can see, uh, our light lines are shorter than the long ones, which means that our controls were systematically older than cases. And what we observe that uh, Let's say, as expected, A beta levels were uh, lower in cases as compared to controls. Similar applies uh, to the other biomarkers. And of course, they all predicted uh, AD status. You can see the difference here quite well. In fact, when we measured accuracy, the accuracy was between 56 and 65% when we used each biomarker separately. Uh, when we combined all biomarkers, together, the accuracy has increased up to uh, 75%, which is great. And then we compared prediction accuracy using biomarkers, all of them with genetics. In genetics, we know that polygenic risk scores were uh, quite predictive, not at the clinical level, of course, uh, of AD status, and that's what we've done. When we added genetics into our model, Overall prediction accuracy increased uh, to 81%, which is great, but it also shows that biomarkers capture something in addition to genetic information. So in conclusion, what we can say that age at sample collection is significantly associated with biomarker levels in both cases and controls, where all the controls look similar to a younger cases in our case. In AD cases also, most biomarkers are associated with age onset and disease duration. And although biomarkers reflect different aspects of AD pathology, they capture variation not captured by genetic factors only, and therefore improve prediction of AD over and above polygenic risk scores. And of course, uh, to provide more accurate analysis and much better differentiation between cases and controls, we need better data, we need longitudinal studies in which use combination of genetics, plasma biomarkers, brain imaging, and uh, pathological information. I'm very thankful to my colleagues from Cardiff, UCL, and DRI who worked with me on this project, and in particular, Joshua Stevenson-Hwara, who did the data analysis.